League Soccer is officially in the STL. Welcome to Selling St. Louis. I'm your host, Kim Jones. And today we're taking an exclusive behind the scenes tour of our brand new stadium, City Park, which hosts our new MLS soccer club, St. Louis City SC. Needless to say, our town is super excited for this. Let's go check it out. I'm here with Matt Seebeck and Lee Broughton, two very important people with our new club, St. Louis City SC. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having us. Yes, so yeah. super excited to get the tour. It was an amazing tour. I'm sure you're ready to have this place filled on Wednesday. Yeah, I can't wait. Super exciting. Tell us a bit about why this project is unique, why the stadium is so unique. There is an opportunity to have a state-of-the-art training facility with the pitches that the team will practice on and the stadium all in the exact same location. That is completely unique in America and very rare um, worldwide. So that's one of the big, big features that, that you'll be able to be very proud of for, for St. Louis. And something else that's a bit unique here is everything is local food offerings. Um, and we have a very well-known uh, name in the culinary field, Gerard Kraft who is your chief flavor officer, right. I believe. Yeah. Yep. Um, tell us a bit about the food offerings that'll be here for everyone to enjoy. Well, I'd say, you know, in general, our the mission from our ownership group was pretty clear, and that was to use the, the, this beautiful stadium and the platform to really showcase all the great things going on in St. Louis. So um, food sits at the center of that, but so does, you know, music, art, entertainment, and, you know, for, for the food experience to be something remarkable, um, we knew we had to go all in on that. So bringing in Gerard to help us curate a food experience that was 100% local, so there won't be chains or franchise in here. It will really be a representation of all the local neighborhood favorites, but all in one place. So fun fact, St. Louis consumes more barbecue sauce per capita than any other city in the United States, right? including Kansas City. So no shock wow. that Beast Craft Barbecue would be one of your top names here. That's right. Yeah. You know, we'll have over 25 local favorites um, by the time we open next year. And that spans from Senegalese to Vietnamese to barbecue, um, vegan options. So that really is something for everybody. One of the things we spent a lot of time thinking about as a, as a group was this idea of the stadium being one of the first of the new and not last of the old. You know, we're a post-pandemic club, so we got to kind of, you know, see how fan behavior has really changed the last two years. We have a mobile app with mobile order ahead. We have self-service kiosks, walkout markets where there is no staff or lines. Um, you just pick what you want off a shelf and through the use of cameras and sensors, you just walk out. And Don Garber mentioned that this yep. is a model for yep. future stadiums going forward, professional stadiums going forward. So, yeah, how about that? And just thank you all so much for all of your, your hard work, your input, and bringing all this to St. Louis. Thank you. No, it's going, I can't wait for St. Louis to turn up, start charming city. That's right, go city. Woohoo! Thank you guys very much. Thanks. Thank you. thing about having a professional soccer team now in St. Louis? I don't know. I used to grow up, or well, I grew up in St. Louis, played soccer pretty much up until high school. And the, Saint, the soccer scene in St. Louis is always huge. The city's here. We're ready for it. We've been ready for it. So I'm excited to see what happens tonight. It's going to be a great night at City Park. Thanks so much for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.